Welcome to this Markets.com company profile of the Walmart Stores, Inc. I am your host, Luisana Suegart. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get started with some background information. Founded in 1962 by Sam Walton, Walmart's headquarters are located in Bentonville, Arkansas. More than 2 million employees work for Walmart, which has a market cap of $232 billion. Walmart Stores operates worldwide, with locations in the U.S., Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, Central America, China, and Japan. The company is divided into Walmart Stores and Sam's Club. Walmart is run by CEO Lee Scott and CFO Thomas Shuey. Moving on to the market, Walmart is traded on the New York, Frankfurt, Swiss, Mexican, Stockholm, and Lima stock exchanges. The major indexes it is listed on are the Dow Industrials and S&P 500. Let's take a look at Walmart's financial figures for 2007, in which reported revenues for the company were over $378 billion, with net earnings nearing $13 billion. Taking a look at the balance sheet, total assets were over $163 billion, and total liabilities were close to $99 billion, with shareholders' equities over $64 billion. On December 31, 2007, Walmart's stock closed at $47.53. As of August 26, 2008, the stock was priced at $58.93. In 2007, $3.6 billion in dividends was paid out to shareholders. Walmart offers products in general merchandise, groceries, pharmacies, and various others, with Carrefour's, Target, and Costco as its largest competitors. Walmart's vision for growth is still focused on their core, and that is to have the lowest prices. However, they are changing the way they are bringing this to the customers, in the last couple of decades, there has been a major emphasis on the expansion of their superstores. Now, they are evaluating other opportunities for growth, which include smaller, more focused stores. They are also trying to invest in growth areas, including new stores in emerging markets and on growth products. Worldwide, they are trying to keep their food prices as low as possible because they see these driving sales as more customers are affected by food inflation. Walmart has been one of the best bearing stocks year to date, in 2008, up about 20% from the beginning of the year. The Dow and the worldwide markets have been taking a thrashing. The reason for this divergence has been that while it is hard for people to spend money in this economy, Walmart is offering the consumer what they want, lower prices. This move really started about halfway through 2007 when they started slashing prices, and while their same store sales in the US have not been amazing compared to what we have seen in the past, they are incredible compared to the competition. Today we are seeing nicer cars in the Walmart parking lots and a fewer amounts of empty spaces. Walmart has really had a stranglehold on the low-end consumer for a long time, and the question for the future growth potential in the U.S. is if they can keep more of their non-traditional customers once the economy starts doing better. Also, while it looks like international growth is guaranteed, they face stiff competition in many markets. That concludes this Markets.com company profile of Walmart stores. I'm your host, Luisana Suegart. Thank you for joining us. See you soon.